guys, once again, we're with you for another session of Jim McFarlane, the tailor. We got the full name today, <laughs> Mr. Jim McFarlane <laughs> and Victoria Baylor, dressmaker. Um, hey guys, we're here. Mm -hmm. It's been a crazy busy week. I'm sure it the really same has. for you guys. I can't believe it's almost March. Mm. We're at the tail end of February. That is so odd. Where did this year go? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I am barely keeping up. <laughs> so I I'm, am also. I'm going to need a little bit of prayer today. Um, but we did want to stop in and just kind of give you an idea of what our current projects are. So that's always fun to kind of share. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to hear yours too. So if you want to yeah. leave them in the comment box below this video, please do. But Mr. Jim, what are you working on? Well, as you guys know, I make a lot of vests. That's a very nice one you're wearing. Uh, thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. This is one of my latest projects. And I, I have... Wait, wait, I don't want to interrupt you. Is the back... Oh, this... I, I, I have not seen this one. You want no. to kind of flip a little bit, let everybody see what the back looks like? It's kind of nice you picked up the bronze brown color in the back. Really nice that mm -hmm. accents the front. Very yeah, spinty. most of the time I make them with the full back. Uh -huh. But every now and then, I want to change up. Yeah, uh, so so nice. what, like she said, I picked up the bronze lining back to match the bronze that's in it. Uh, these are the creative things that you can do. You guys know that I'm real big on vests, and I have a gentleman client here in Savannah, Georgia, that I have made. I, I don't mention how many I made because. <laughs> can we can we can we work in a range just so people have an idea? It's more than a hundred. Okay, there you go. And not quite a hundred and fifty yet. And I can't get a number because his wife never knows. He always tells her. That's been in the closet. <laughs> well, I started, he started a new thing, and now he's on a whole new journey. I started making his vest because he wears one every day. That's true. Now, okay, he's been your client for how many years? Just right at about two and a half. Okay, and this year alone, how many vests have you made for him? This year? Just this year. Well, it's only two months in this year. Maybe a dozen. This year? So if he keeps going at that rate, okay, we'll just leave it, right? Yeah, yeah leave that alone. But, <laughs> leave that but alone. I made one, and he was so enthusiastic and at, at, at wow about it that he kind of switched up. And now I'm doing them not really two-tone, but if you guys saw the way this gentleman dresses, he's immaculate all the time. Yeah, it's pretty So cool. now and he's I'm unique. putting... Oh, Wow. Oh, oh. Ah. They're like this now. Fancy, a beautiful brocade. Mm -hmm. I like that. With mm -hmm. the, is that the velvet? Yeah, velvet, velvet collar, velvet pockets, and it'll have the buttons on it, which are always the black with the gold trim. Oh, wow. So if you guys can see that. Now, to, to give you a different look as well, here's another brocade. Nice. Here's another brocade. that has a little different look, and it's all black, but by the same token. Oh, nice, I like it, that. It has a formal look to it, but by the same token, because it has the velvet and the pocket trim, he can wear it form, as a formal, but he will wear it. Yeah, I've seen his, the way he dresses. He, with his yeah. tailored pants on, Tailored shirt on. The gentleman just wears them well, and I thank him for that. So I have to ask. It's funny because this fabric looked familiar to me. I made a dress for my daughter out of a purple variation of this mm -hmm. fabric last mm -hmm. year, but I love this green. Where did you get this from? It's very, very Actually, nice. Actually, he brings his it. fabric in. It's very nice. So I wonder if he got it locally. He got it I locally. I don't mind it Joanne's. He got it locally. I think he either got it at Joanne's mm -hmm. because he shops at the locals. Whereas right. I go and I travel and get fabrics. I, I had the pleasure of being in California and I went to the fabrics. I won't even mention their name in California, but I was very disappointed because I didn't find them to be all of that spectacular in Los Angeles. Yeah. Whereas I found my Atlanta connection has better choices. So I'm going to leave that one alone. I won't put nobody's name out there. <laughs> 
Well, it's one thing when you do find great fabrics and great fabric mm -hmm. places, warehouses, whatever, you definitely stick with them. Oh, absolutely. Right? absolutely. Now, I think you mentioned a long time ago, he has his own, since he is a, a special client of yours, he yeah. has his own pattern, correct? You made yes. especially for him and you made his right. specific designs for him. In, in the beginning, we worked on several things. The design, the height of the vest, all of the above. You know, when we got what we wanted, I make a pattern. I have his own pattern. He doesn't have to try anything on. I just pull the pattern, cut it, make it, and hand it to him. If you have clients like that, and everybody doesn't have like that, and this yeah. is kind of a simple item. It's just a vest. Now, I have coat patterns for people that I used to make a lot of coats for. I have pants patterns, and on and on and on. When you have somebody who you do a multiple of things for, it's better to now, instead of trying to reshape it every time, yeah. block it out, see? Because what you do when you block it out is you actually have their physical size. The modifications you make is the styling, mm -hmm. but it makes for an easier fit, so you don't have to have them in for all these fittings. Because the biggest thing, <clears throat> excuse me, with fitting is fit. Yeah, that's Once true. Once you get the fit, it's defined. It's, it's then it's just the style. See, yeah. so for you guys who have certain clients out there, who, or even yourself, you should have a pattern for yourself. I got, I have a vest pattern for myself, a pants pattern for myself, and all of the above. Because if you're going to make things for yourself or somebody else over and over again, you need to have a pattern just for whoever or whatever it is that you're doing there. It's easier. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I have a client that I have done a wardrobe for, and it's funny. I thought that was it with us, but mm -hmm. then she wants some more things, and mm -hmm. luckily I kept all the stuff and yeah. all the patterns yeah. from our initial run, so you just use that stuff you again. Once you get it fit, you're right. It's fit. Yeah, it's the fit. You it's know, fit. the style, you reshape it, you make it longer, you make it this, you do that, but the size is the key to the garment. So when do you plan on being done with these? Today. So he can place his order again for next week. Right. Month, right? <laughs> absolutely right. Yeah, That's absolutely how it works. Right. How it's a works circle so. of life around here. Yeah. Circle yeah. of vests. So, well, so what you, you have over there? You've got some great projects, and I'm going to throw mine in here. Um, I've mentioned if you follow me on my blog, 10,000 Hours of Sewing, you know annually my husband and my daughter do a father-daughter banquet right. at our church. They love it. This is year six. I can't believe it. I mean, the dress started out this big when she was mm -hmm. four, mm -hmm. and now this, these dresses are getting bigger and bigger. But they're great because they're trophies for me because I get to keep yeah. them afterwards, yeah. and I'll keep them forever. Anyhow, the event is in two days. Two and in days. my Two days on Friday. And in my mm -hmm. usual fashion, just slam with work. Had to go get mm -hmm. this done. So I picked a pattern for the dress, and I, I've like drafted, thought about it. I had a hard time trying to decide on something this mm. year. Mm. So for me, the process usually starts with fabrication. Yeah. I don't know how other people, sometimes they'll find their pattern first. Sometimes for me, it's always fabrication. So last month I went to Fine Fabrics in Atlanta, Georgia. Mr. Jim introduced me to that what a year or so ago. Yeah. Love it. If you're in Atlanta, you have to check it out. It's like a endless fabric warehouse, essentially. It's very big. Um, you can't really, how would you describe it? So it's like uh, just kind of discount fabric from a little bit of every place, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you don't, know what, short, you don't know what you're going to get all the time. You don't know what you're going to get all the time. But it's worth going to because you can't really get good is. finds. Anyhow, I spotted this beautiful uh, satin. Would you consider this a brocade too, right? This is this is, this considered, is a little bit weird. But it, it's not considered a brocade. It has yeah. a brocade look. Look to it. it. Almost like a. Um, uh, jacquard, but it doesn't have the texture. It's right. really odd. You're right. right. So it's kind of like a printed satin, but it's really beautiful. It is bronze with these abstract floral prints in it. And it's funny because I circled this fabric two times and it took me coming back the next day to finally decide on it. And the neat thing is, is it has a reverse side that's also equally as beautiful. It's the inverse mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. So what I decided with this, I'm making two dresses, one for my goddaughter, one for my daughter, that I would use the same fabric, but use reverse the reverse side. side. That's a neat idea. It is. So they would yeah. coordinate. So that would mm -hmm. be kind of cool. Anyway, so fabric was picked. Then I had to think about design. And usually when I go with something very ornate, I try to simplify the design. 
But I'm just still stuck in the, I have the base pattern. So here we go. This is the new look pattern. So it's kind of a base and I wanted to go with maybe the more poofier version, but the girls changed their mind. One wanted their dress long, one wanted short in the front, long in the back. Anyhow, so I'm in the throes of that now. Base dresses are pretty much done. Can you tell me together. you have that, it's by Friday. I do. Oh, okay. I do. This is okay. just seems to, you know, on the blog, mm -hmm. this happens every time. I'm sewing like 48 hours before an event, but mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you squeak out the best ideas. So this is a base uh, dress for my goddaughter. So you can see it's pretty much almost put together. I have to take the bodice apart. I did fittings. The back isn't even done. Anyway, we're on the home stretch and then I'm going to do my daughters. But long story short, I got to think of some neat little ideas. This is kind of where sometimes I get stuck. I want to add some things to it. So I'm just trying to, you know, play in my mind, tease some ideas around. But I think ultimately they'll be very beautiful when I'm done. They will. If not, they the girls will. are cute. So, hey. <laughs> I know that. I know that. So but, we'll, we'll um, work something out. But this has been my week, and I have so much to do, so much on my plate. So it's always an odd balancing act when you're trying to get it, stuff done. It really is because, you know, I, I do a multiple of things yes. in here in this studio. And I have a multiple of people coming and going all the time, and mm -hmm. they want to know, do you do this? They want to know, do you do that? And that's why I keep, I could, I will never ever stop saying how important it is for you guys out there to perfect your skills. Yeah, it really. Because is. you don't know what somebody's going to come in the door and ask you, can you make? That's true. And the worst thing you can do as a sewer is to tell somebody, I don't know how to do that, or I don't do that because when you become a sewer, you should not have to turn down any project. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that to say that the average project that people come for is what you should be able to make. Yeah. There are some projects that you, either you don't know how or they're too difficult. This I do know. So I'm not going to say that you have to take in everything. Or, like, to your point, what we talked about in previous shows, is you know enough to be able to conquer that project. Right. Everything that comes your way isn't something you've already experienced. Mm -hmm. But you to grow, you have to be always taking in new experiences. Mm -hmm. But like Mr. Jim saying, the most embarrassing, embarrassing thing is you have the opportunity to do something that's just basic skill-driven, but because you don't have those baseline skills, you can't mm -hmm. really take on that mm -hmm. project. So, yeah. Yeah. That's Let me tell you mind. about one real quick. I had a gentleman client of mine when I was living in Atlanta, a very, very, very good client. And he in turn, because I had moved out of Atlanta, went to all the tailors. He wanted some underwear made. Underwear. He, 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 likes, he likes what he likes, I guess, so right. specific. That's right. yeah. And everybody passed on him. Underwear? Underwear. 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 Because they hadn't done it. It's only straight stitching. And he brought a pattern for them to go by. And one of them called me, who I do know, this tailor from Atlanta, Georgia, and put him on the phone. And he asked me point blank. He said, let me tell you something. I need four dozen pairs of these. Uh, it was a very, very good. And I'm saying to myself, that's a nice order. why is this tailor passing on something as simple as there were no more than boxer shorts. So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Perfect your skills. Now, after I made them for him, all of his friends wanted them. So you don't know what's going to come your way. That's very true. So you don't want to pass. You just want to, if your skill level is where it needs to be, what is there to make some boxer shorts? Not, not, and that's the thing. Sometimes people get to an elevated sense of sewing that in their mind, I don't know, they don't process doing things that seem simple, but it's all related. Yeah. It's yeah. sewing. Sewing. You know, some of my best projects have been the simple ones and the most lucrative that's ones. Your, oh, you better believe Damn, it. Yeah, you better get some. I'm uh -huh. telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we do. That's what we enjoy doing. Um, hopefully... The session today just enlightens you. All right, guys. So thanks for uh, tuning in. We wanted to, again, despite our crazy schedules, show yeah. you what we had going on in the works. Um, as you can see, we like to continuously be sewing despite mm -hmm. the stressors and other things that are going on in life. It's important for us to continue in our craft. Oh, absolutely. And, and you guys also 
Let us know what projects you're working on. That's right. Leave in the comment section below. That's right. In the comment section. And do this too. Let's say you have something that is either giving you a little difficulty doing or something. Kind of explain it to us. If we can understand it. Maybe we can give feedback. Because there might be somebody else doing the same type of project. Exactly. And having the same type of difficulty there. Exactly. In addition to the comments, please leave questions. We love questions, actually. They help us to create shows. Oh, yeah. There's someone out there, I forget your name, but you did have a question about how to fit plus size or blouses for plus size women. We are planning an upcoming show on that. Sure. So just hang on. We have not missed your, uh, your, your request. Um, but, okay, so that's our show for this week. It's been a pleasure having you guys pleasure, around. Pleasure. So keep sewing. You want to keep honing those skills. Mm -hmm. And as always, I love to tell you guys from the bottom of my heart, God has given you amazing gifts. I know you have them. You know, use them use and them. do some great things with them. So with that being said, mm -hmm. we're going to sign off. See Bye. See you again. Bye now.